Willigo recently updated their keyboard and I wanted to see how that compared to the old one. Their existing keyboards, you kind of get randomly, it says on their website you're going to get a random keyboard. I like this keyboard a lot, but this one, the keys are a little more spaced out, kind of like they are on the pager, which makes for a lot easier typing in my opinion. So I wanted to give this a try. As far as I can tell, the only thing they've updated is the keyboard and the, the look a little bit, which pretty much the only thing you see is the keyboard trackball and screen. I have just flashed my firmware onto this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. I've never even powered it up before now, except to flash it. So Blackout Comms has never even really booted on it yet. I have this existing device, it's called Matt Therm because it's got a thermal camera. And what I'm going to do is transfer this SD card over to that. I will go ahead and do that right now. I've got the SD card in, I'm going to turn this on. It should immediately recognize that its name is Matt Therm, even though this one doesn't have a thermal camera, that's okay. Now it doesn't have the correct time yet. It, it will get it from GPS in a minute. I can skip that by choosing to receive the time. One of my nearby devices is gonna, they automatically give it the time every so often, so it should update here in a second. Okay, there we go. Now that I'm on the right time, this should turn green here in a second. There we go. So I am on my cluster. I can see the van. Probably going to see my base station here in a minute. Okay, good. Let's see how this keyboard works. I'm going to send a message. This one is Lisa. Well, that does type really well. I can find the edges of the keys a lot easier. Yeah, so this just should take a second. Yep, it's got the packets. Should turn into a check mark in a minute. There we go. So uh, it should be sitting here. Yeah, this one you saw flash. Uh, that should be like flashing. I mean, it'll flash green and then it should flash white. Turn the screen on here. And there we go. My new keyboard. This unit does not come with GPS, so I mean, there's really no reason to test the GPS because I added the GPS. The spacing's not quite as spaced out as it is on the pager. But it is pretty nice, I think. If you compare that with the old style, it's kind of hard to tell where you're on the edge of it. It's kind of hard to feel the difference of the keys. But I do think this was, was an improvement. I'm going to take this out just to see how it does a little ways from the house. I would expect exactly the same behaviors I get from these older T-Decks. I'm outside with a couple of devices now, including the, the new keyboard, which I expect to do just fine. I can see several devices, including some of the ones I'm testing right now. So I'm going to go a little ways from the house and uh, see, see what kind of signal we got. from the house I'm not really gonna try to find the limits so at two miles both the, sol the solar and the uh, <laughs> the one go kit that's sitting on the ground uh, at my house that's kind of funny and my base station for the t-deck I wake it up by hitting the trackball there well it's got a better signal there to the base station and it's got the solar also the uh, one that's on the ground that's pretty good Okay, one last test I'll do here is just to make sure it can send a message from the base station. Uh, at two miles, it's kind of a sandy check. Should be no problem. Boy, it is easier to hit those keys. Okay. It's going out. Whoops. 
basket. It went out and got confirmed early before I could even get it in focus. Working really well. So this is this is a very nice tea deck, just like I would expect. So I think I'm uh, done for now. So here's the solar one that I had a connection to from two miles. That's not too surprising. This is the one sitting on the ground that I had it. I was hitting from two miles away. I'm testing for basically to see if that solar panel, how well that keeps up. But it's this uh, go kit here. Usually I would hang that from a tree or something if I'm gonna try to get any distance, but I guess it works on the ground in this case.